Voyagers 1 and 2, launched in 1977, were built to last five years and study the outer planets of our solar system along with their moons. After about 45 years in space, both spacecraft are still functioning, exceeding all expectations. They're also the only spacecraft to collect data in interstellar space, which has helped us gain a deeper understanding of the heliosphere, the diffuse barrier the Sun creates around our solar system. Early this year, however, NASA said the Voyager 1 spacecraft was sending back inaccurate data from its Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which controls the spacecraft's orientation. Among other tasks, it keeps the probe's high-gain antenna pointed precisely at Earth, enabling it to send data home. While the system was working properly, the telemetry data were invalid, the data didn't reflect what was actually happening on board, and scientists were puzzled. For those who don't know, telemetry is the process of recording and transmitting the readings of an instrument. However, to try to find a solution, scientists dug through decades-old manuals, and in late August, the Voyager team solved the mysterious glitch. Scientists found the spacecraft was sending information using a dead computer that was corrupting the data. Finding the solution was time-consuming, particularly because it was not easy to find old documents needed to fix the issue. Thousands of engineers worked on the project, and sadly, back in the time, no one really cared about creating a project document library. According to Suzanne Dodd, Voyager's project manager, people would take their boxes home to their garage, so the Voyager team had to specifically look for boxes under the name of engineers who helped design the attitude control system, and it took quite some time to collect the needed files. Suzanne said when they suspected what the issue was, they opted to try a low-risk solution, commanding the AACS to resume sending the data to the correct computer. A radio signal takes about 22 hours to reach Voyager 1, which was 14.6 billion miles, or 23.5 billion kilometers, from Earth. That means it takes about two days to send a message to Voyager 1 and get a response. So the team solved the problem, but no one knew why it happened in the first place. Mission engineers suggested the probe probably began routing its health and status telemetry through the dead computer after receiving a bad command from yet another onboard computer. That would suggest there was another problem inside the computer brains of the Voyager 1. However, the team didn't suspect this would threaten the probe's long-term health. According to NASA, the data won't likely be collected after 2025, but engineering data could continue to be returned for several more years. The two Voyager spacecraft could remain in the range of the Deep Space Network through about 2036, depending on how much power the spacecraft still have to transmit a signal back to Earth. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.